In today's video, we're going to look at five solar panel stands made with EMT conduit and maker pipe connectors. We're going to talk about different design features and look at different ways that people have incorporated adjustability into their stands, as well as different flat packing solutions for storing these away until the power goes out or even hauling them around for camping trips. All kinds of really great things and really great ideas from the maker pipe community. Let's jump right in and check them out. First up is the solar panel stand built by Dellen, and he made this as a kind of a emergency measure in case their power goes out. They live in an area that gets a lot of bad weather, and if you live in an area that gets snow and ice and, and different things that could potentially cause your power to go out, it might be a good idea to have some solar panel stands at the ready so you can deploy them if the power goes out. And that's exactly what they were looking to do. And as you can see here, this is the solar panel stand all deployed and ready to go. And then here it is kind of flat packed and up on the wall in their garage has a small footprint and it's out of the way. Then they could just leave it here until they need to deploy it, which is really cool. And he accomplished that in a couple of really clever ways. And we can see that the, the stand itself is made with EMT conduit, just off the shelf electrical conduit that you can get at Lowe's or Home Depot and then maker pipe connectors here, as you can see. And basically there's just a rectangle made with T connectors and conduit that supports the solar panels themselves. And then he's got some bracing with 45 degree connectors in a few different places. And then basically it's just uh, a few different rectangles just kind of connected together. And then there is an angled pi pipe that goes from the back of the stand up to the top here that creates this kind of triangle shape and this is what supports the stand and actually allows it to be flat packable. And basically how he did that was some really clever hacks. First of all, he used off the shelf electrical couplings, as you can see here, and he actually shaved down the wall that's on the inside of them to make them smooth and allow them to slide up and down the EMT conduit, which is really clever. And as you can see here at the top, this is where he's got one of those connections with the electrical couplings. And then at the bottom here, he actually made a hinge solution by hammering or using a vise to flatten two pieces of EMT conduit and then bolting them together. And that created a hinge of sorts that he can then fold down the frame. As you can see here, just take this, fold it down. This, uh, this conduit connector and the electrical coupling uh, will slide down this piece of conduit and then this will hinge and then that's what allows them to flat pack it and hang it on the wall. So really cool techniques, really cool hacks and really clever ideas from Dellen. And we actually did an interview with him a while back. You can check that out if you want to learn more about his setup and about these stands, but super cool. Thanks so much for sharing these. Next up is an adjustable solar panel stand built by Jim. And these are really cool. And basically he used some wood to create a T-shaped base and then secured EMT conduit to that and then actually made this where it can manually track the sun, which is super cool. And basically to do that, he just used maker pipe adjustable angle flanges. He's got one on this side, one here, and one on the very front. And the, one, the two in the back, you know, send these pipes up and connect to the middle, just kind of adding some support in the back. And then he used maker pipe adjustable angle hinge connectors at the top of these two pipes to connect to this pipe that runs all the way down and then connects in that one that we looked at here. And then he used the maker pipe rigid flange to support the solar panels, as you can see. If you look closely, you'll see the flange there. And then this pipe that runs from the, the bottom all the way up to the top is what actually allows it to rotate and spin because he just left the hinge connectors loose here. So the way we designed the adjustable angle hinge connector, we call it the hinge because we designed it so you could leave this top connection a little loose and actually hinge uh, the, 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 whether it's the pipe inside of the connector, if you use a smaller pipe, which I think he used half inch empty conduit in here to achieve that, or you can actually uh, rotate the, the top of the connector. So it's like, it, it kind of spins like that or moves like that. And so that's how he's achieving that. And it looks like he secured the solar panels with uh, two hole straps, which is a bit different. I don't think I mentioned, but Dellen secured his with zip ties because he had some grommets in his 
flexible uh, style solar panels. But this has a metal you know, ridge around the outside of the solar panel. So he used two hole straps just bolted or screwed into the, the metal ridge on the outside. So really cool. And this is awesome. He can you know, just kind of grab either side of this and then rotate it around based on where the sun is, which is really awesome. And here it is. Looks like they got some snow and they were uh, using the solar panels. So really awesome. Thanks so much, Jim, for sharing these. Next up is a YouTube video from Christopher, and he shared this a while back. He said that they like to boondock and camp for two months of the year, and they want to take some solar panels on their trailer, which is really cool. And he said they've used PVC in the past, but it didn't really hold up too well, so they wanted to make it with conduit and connectors. And inside this video, I don't want to give away too much because you should definitely check out their video. I'll link it down below. But basically, here's the old stand made with PVC, and he goes through and explains how he makes the stand with EMT conduit and maker pipe connectors, and he even incorporates some really interesting hacks like um, like like getting rid of the, uh, the the screw that comes in here, and then using one of these uh, kind of hand screws that he can then adjust by hand to you know move the the coupling, which is really awesome. And here he's got that in place. He even 3D printed some accessories that he needed, like the feet here, as you can see, as well as the crossover clamps that he's using in a few different places. And he made these so he could, uh, you know, fold them and store them on the bike trailer that they have and then also deploy them whenever the time comes. So really cool. Like I said, I don't want to give away too much from their video because you should check it out. But here it is kind of flat packed and folded. And then here it is deployed and you can see some of the connections and everything's in there. So super cool. Definitely check out his video and you can get more details about how he made this. Really awesome. We appreciate you sharing that, Christopher. Next up is another solar panel stand that can be adjusted. This one is a little bit more uh, entailed in how you have to adjust it, but it's kind of beefier overall than some of the other ones we've seen because it's got a lot of connectors and it's kind of a kind of a large footprint. As you can see here, basically with T connectors and, and three quarter inch conduit making the rectangular base. And then he's got the T connectors going up with several cross pipes going across to reinforce it. And then at the top of the vertical, not at the very top, but kind of towards the top of the vertical, he's got adjustable angle connectors going up. And just like I said, uh, leaving these loose allows you to, you know, spin these up and down the pipe or slide them up and down the pipe. So what he says he does is just loosens the T connector at the bottom of each of these verticals and then kind of grabs the, the verticals and pulls them back or moves them forward along this pipe on both sides. And then those will just slide down the vertical and that's what allows them to change the angle of the solar panel uh, and, and you know achieve different angles based on where the sun is. So that's really cool. And it's just a mixture of looks like a lot of T connectors and then just adjustable angle connectors anywhere that he's got uh, these you know angled pipes going up that need to adjust. So really cool. We can see here that he used, actually we don't really see exactly how the solar panel is secured. I do see some zip ties. I don't know if that's holding on the cables here in different places, or if he's actually got those going through some screw holes on the back of the solar panel. Not entirely sure, but you could also use, like we saw, uh, some two hole straps or one hole straps. Works really well and uh, is a really inexpensive solution for mounting these. So really cool. Thanks so much for sharing this, Dayton. Really awesome, and uh, looks like it's working out great. Thanks for sharing it. Last but not least is a solar panel stand from Jim that I love because it's super simple but has some really cool stuff incorporated into it. It's just a simple rectangle with three-quarter inch EMT conduit and maker pipe T connectors going across with some conduit to just reinforce and kind of support the solar panels. But you can see here the solar panels are really thin and they're the, the flexible type, I believe. And to mount these to the frame, I love this, it's super cool. To mount these to the frame, he basically replaced the M6 hardware that we include with the maker pipe connectors and got a longer M6 bolt that goes all the way through the connector and through the solar panel. And then he used some M6 wing nuts to be able to secure the panel and clamp down the connectors all together in one motion by hand, which is really cool. I mean, normally you only need a five millimeter hex wrench, but doing it by hand is even easier than that and really awesome and allows you to adjust this if you need to or take it apart completely all by hand without any tools, which is really cool. 
and uh, just you know, nice and simple stand. It even has just a, a simple kick stand using the T connector, and just similar to the adjustable angle connector, you can leave this a little loose or remove the friction band and actually hinge this if you need to. So you could change the angle of this really easily by just leaving that loose, like I said, or taking off the friction band, and then just rotating this T connector along this pipe, and you can change the angle, but super simple, but really cool nonetheless because it's got some great features incorporated into it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and got some ideas for some solar panel stands that you can create, whether you're camping or if you just want to be prepared in case the power goes out. Lots of cool ideas from the community. Thanks everybody for sharing your builds. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.